Hi everyone. So I've come to do a little let's make with you all. Um, I'm using up my scraps to uh, just to make black journal cards and I used index cards this size because I've got tons of them. Um, and like I said, using up my scraps and using things that I've got already printed off. I've still got to put some words on these. So I've made that one and that one. The labels and the images are from Artie Mays. Uh, I've made four, so I'm going to make another two on camera with you. Just thought I would turn the camera on. So I've got a collection of scraps. I've got a big, um, well, I've got more than this. I've got a couple of these and I, all my little end pieces and pieces that maybe I've just used a little bit of. I just store it in here and then I go to it when I need to, when I'm doing like collage work and things like that. So I've got a little scraper on my old Costco card, which we never renewed last year because we were on lockdown and we couldn't get out. <laughs> so I'm using a glue stick. You can use whatever glue you like. You can use like a decoupage glue or your like, you know, if you make um, your like two in one, like PVA and a little bit of water. Um, but I'm using the glue stick because it's quicker to dry. I've tore a few of these pieces up already just to try and save some time. So I'm gonna just put some glue on this. Um, and I can't find my book that I normally use to glue things so that my, my craft mat doesn't get all sticky. Um, so I'm gonna have to keep wiping this so things don't stick to it. Um, so I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I've still got back problems and leg problems, but it's not as bad as what it was. Thank goodness. I did say it was going to take a good few weeks for it to, um, like, uh, you know, go away, suppress itself. Uh, drove me crazy over the last couple of weeks. It really has. Um, I know a lot of you... Um, have suffered the same thing with sciatica and I've now got what well, they say a baker's cyst which I'm not quite sure if it is or not because um, I think I have generally overused my leg my knee because I do sit in a very awkward position like when when I'm sitting on my craft chair when I go indoors I'd always sit on a big cushion on the floor because dogs have normally got the the sofa <laughs> um and i normally find it quite comfortable but i i do overstretch that particular side of my body which has caused all the back problems and everything else so anyway right back to this so whoopsie um i'm just using all the little scrappy crappy pieces <laughs> i don't mean that to sound bad but um where's my little thing and something else up here. Got sticky fingers now. Uh, and I do find this very therapeutic. Um, I am going to gesso over the top of it. Just a very light coating of gesso. Um, you don't have to do that at all. But I'm choosing to. Uh, let's see. Just put a little piece of that there. I hope I'm in frame. Am I in frame? Yep. Like I said before, I can't really see with this new camera thing. I am a little bit off. Off. So I'll sit, I'll sit me there. Okay. Um, right. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit on my heater whilst to do the next one. And I'll have to get that a little wipe. I'm going to try and keep this a short video. I should have looked out my book. What have I done with that? There it is. So I'm just going to glue on there again. Also a little bit stuffed up and sneezy. I um, decided to use a new cleaning spray and it's quite strong. The scent is quite strong and I've done nothing but sneeze since I used it. <laughs> so I won't be using that again. <laughs> um... I've got so many ailments. Oh, I can see words on that, so I want to put that around the right way, even though you're probably not going to see it once I have finished. Um, yeah, a little bit of that. Glue. Yeah, keep all them little scrappy pieces. Um, they do come in handy for things like this. 
or if you're making little clusters which I made a few of them earlier because I'm I'm actually nearly finished a journal which I started about three days ago um, <clears throat> I just can't stand or sit for too long hence why I'm not making that many journals but um, let me see um, tear a little piece of that I've got ink on my fingers as well from um, the printer. Um, my new part is coming for my laser tomorrow. Um, they did a, initially, it said like a couple of weeks because it was out of stock. And um, anyway, it's coming tomorrow. So I'm well excited. Back to using that because the inkjet was driving me crazy. And I just actually ordered new inks for that as well, which came was it yesterday i think it was and i popped them in there this morning and the old inks that i took out one of them leaked <laughs> trying to get it off my fingers is like oh it's a nightmare um <clears throat> so yeah i'll be glad when my inkjet is fixed and um because oh boy i didn't realize how different you know the quality is from an inkjet to um well i did but i forgot over the years because obviously I've had my laser printer for about three years now and I've just been used to using that. Um, here we go. Let's give that a little wipe. Again, sticky, sticky. It's my husband when I... <laughs> he does all the, like, the shopping and things like that because he's the driver in the house. And when I have to get certain things like glues and stuff and he, he says, oh, you need some more sticky, sticky. <laughs> um, it's like, yep, need some more sticky, sticky. <laughs> I normally buy like, a good few of these at a time. Uh, sometimes they don't even have them in the shops. And I've actually gone to uh, different ones. I've got this one, which is like the purple one, um, which is really good. And that's from uh, Tesco's. And then I got some other ones. Um, they're actually, that's a red one it's from Wilkinson's. They're okay. They're not great, but they still work. You know, if you saw around things, they're actually okay. So that's on my sticky sticky. <laughs> um, give that a little wipe again. Sorry about all the wiping, but I've got to do it. And I'm going to let that dry. I've got some words here that I'm going to cut out. These were, um, I just printed them onto copy paper and then backed them onto some cardstock. I'm just going to pop these on the t uh, the journal cards tags whatever you want to call them these are actually from the tag fabrication um you get these on with one of the you get two tags on a page and and then these words so i'm just gonna cut them out would be nice to maybe um, emboss them or put some glossy accents or is it crackle accents or whatever on, on them but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to show you how quick and easy these are to do so I've got four made and I'm making two so I need six um, <clears throat> move these out of the way put them there It's good to have um, like words all printed out. I do have actually another folder with lots of words printed out on them. In them, I should say, in the pocket. But I wanted these ones specifically because they were black. Because I think, um, so I'm just going to pop them on here while I'm waiting for them to, to dry. Because I've just popped them on the heater. Uh, It's a little bit of glue. I'm not going to go too close to the edge because when I press it down, it's all going to ooze out. I think that's straight. A little bit did ooze out. So that's that one. What does that one say? Uh, you got this. It's 
just want to let that dry, be passionate. And never fail. Right, so that's them done. This should be done. Now, obviously, when I glued that on, there's bits hanging over the edge. So we shall just trim that up. And I did glue um, on the other ones. I did glue and sew around. I did glue. I did a glue some coffee dyed paper onto the backs. But you don't have to. You can keep them lined and you could maybe just ink them up. Um, this one done? Yes. It dries really quickly when you put it on the radiator. You could do these on tags and or um, you know your junk mail. Be a great way to use up your junk mail with your scraps or playing cards. I've got tons of playing cards and I still have. Oh, I've done a little spinny there. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> uh, there's tons of playing cards that I need to use up. So like I said, I'm going in with some gesso. Um, this gesso is, isn't like the one I had before. It's exactly the same make, but this one is kind of, you can see it's kind of jelly, but it's not as gritty. The other one I had was a little bit gritty and I know a lot of people don't like the gritty one. I actually do. So I'm just going to, just to tone it down and kind of helps it blend in a little bit I think but like I said you don't have to do this at all and if you don't have gesso you could use white acrylic paint something like that I'm just going to set that on the heater and that will be dry in seconds I don't want a lot of that it's just basically I'm using it to tone down the colours and there we go. I can't even see that butterfly now. <laughs> there we go. So I'll put that on there. Put my brush in my, my water. Put my lid on my paint in case I spill it. Um, it'll clean up. And a little dry up and there we go okay right i think that's dry already because the heat is boiling right i've got some, these little butterflies they're from arty maze and the little um labels again they're arty maze some of the scraps that i've used as well from arty maze too so i'm just gonna <coughs> glue that on that's pretty much straight and stick the little label here it's not quite straight well it's on now my word is live and dream glue stuck to my fingers okay that's that one and we do this one I think I may do that down there no I mean you can use any images that you like anything at all I'm just using these because I've got tons and tons of them printed off And you can put them on any way you like and i've just realized there's a lot of shadowing and i haven't put my um my ring light on sally me hope this video is not too bad because it's just starting to get dark outside
um, that's them. I will, I'm not going to do it on camera or anything or stop this and do it and come back because I have a nightmare once I start adding the videos together on iMovie and then try and upload it. I seem to have problems with that. Um, but I will do that and I will put some pictures on Instagram and, and on the Facebook groups. So that's, that's them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Like I said, you can see there I glued on some coffee dyed paper and then sewed around the edges. So there we have it. Um, quick and easy um, collaged index cards. If you have any questions, just ask and thank you for watching. Bye.